Hey guys, it's Al with Tech Made Easy, and thanks so much for clicking on our video. You know, I needed a work platform, and uh, I went out, I did some research, I went and checked a couple of models, I went into a couple of stores, and I gotta tell you, this is it. The Gorilla Work Platform. Now this thing supports up to 375 pounds. I like it because it's also adjustable. It can be 20 inches high, 23 inches high, 27 inches high, all the way up to 30 inches high. Now, because it supports 375 pounds, this thing's got feet that actually pop out to make it more stable. This thing folds up and takes up almost no space. So let's go ahead and check this out. Let's get this party started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. We're going to take some time now and go over basics like cost, model numbers, and key features, and then we're going to take a close look at everything, I promise you. So the model number is GLWP-55A-2, as you can see there in the upper right-hand corner. MSRP on this is $159, so it's not cheap, but it's not made cheap. Honestly, this is really, really strong. Um, I will put links in the video description if you want to pick one up. Now, the type, by the way, is called IAA, and I'm going to go ahead and pull that up right now so you can see what that looks like. I went and looked up what IAA is, and uh, basically it is extra heavy duty, as you can see on the screen. You know, they have light duty at 200 pounds all the way up to extra heavy duty, which is 300 pounds. In this case, this is a 375 pound rated work platform. Let's continue on. So again, weight capacity is 375 pounds max. The material they say is a professional grade aluminum. Measurements, um, the top of the platform itself is 55 by 14. So we're looking at 14 inches this way and 55 inches across for the platform itself. Now when this is folded, it's 55 by 17.5 by four. So here it is folded, okay? So we've got 55 inches across. Now we have 17.5 inches this way and then we've got four inches this way, right? As far as the thickness is concerned. All right, why don't we take a moment now and show you how it opens. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Now I cheated because I gotta tell you, this is made so strong that I, I pretty much lifted these up for a minute. So if you're looking at them and wondering why they're lifted up, it's because I released them. I'm gonna show you. So when I lock this down, okay, you got to push that in in order to lift this back up. And this is a tight mechanism. So basically push this in and really lift this up. Now, when you lift it up, it locks immediately. It locks. So it will not, that's part of the strength. It locks. Take this one here, open it up. All right, again, nice and stiff and strong. And of course, it's new and it's not worn yet. These are handles, by the way. When you're gonna carry it, you're gonna find yourself carrying it this way. So now, as you can see here, this would be 20 inches of height. And if I wanted 23 inches in height, I would lift this up. All right, that would be 23 inches. If I wanted 27 inches in height, That would be 27 inches in height. And then obviously if I want the full 30, again, I'm gonna pull these in, pull this all the way out and drop it. And as you can see now, there are three holes. It is locked in the fourth position. Let me do the same on here. All 
All right, let me flip this around and we'll take a look. Just a quick clarification while I was demonstrating how you open these, I thought you had to unlock them, but they this only locks when they're open. When these are folded, the they're just held by these clips here. So all you gotta do really is just lift them up. Uh, this is the only thing holding them in place. It isn't the lock. That lock only works when it's open. So just lock it down. And, you know, when you want to pick it back up, just pick it back up. All right. As you can see, that's 30 inches in height right there. All right. Close that back up. So pretty strong. Now, when you have it up, you know, at 23, at 27, at war 30, highly recommend that you extend the feet for the stability. So all you do is push this little button in here and it will release it and then it'll lock in place. Okay, and you do this on both sides. That's now gonna give you more stability. By the way, that extends out an additional three inches and that really makes a difference, you know? When you've got three inches on each side in all four corners, when you're getting on a work platform with some tools on. Now, close look, obviously you'll see, these are, I believe these are rivets, you know? This is the locking mechanism. It's protected, right, by this bumper. If you bang this around, but again, you got really good rivets. Oh, here, you've got them here. And again, you've got them down here. So this thing is beefy, right? And again, you got the handles, so when you're carrying this, these actually are on both sides. The handles are uh, really nice. By the way, this is how the handle works. As you can see, 27 pounds, not bad at all. Take this with you, bring it in to a job site, throw it back in your truck. Works great. We took a close look and I figured why not take a close look at the bottom of the platform. You know, we didn't do this before, but I mean, if you look at the structure here, right, they've got aluminum sections in here and then crossbars. And again, crossbar, so these alum this aluminum goes across to add more strength to the platform that's holding the 375 pounds, right? So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you can see, obviously, the workmanship. It's nice. They're really, really made well. Now, the other thing I'll show you is the feet have rubber. So, again, it won't cause any damage depending on where you're putting it. It'll give you that additional slip grip. And if you are doing work in your home or a customer's home, you know, it's got the grip on the bottom as well. So really nice, I'm impressed. One thing I realized also as to why these are on here is if you actually go to a customer's home and maybe you're inside their house, you're putting this on their hardwood floors or something, this actually does kind of help. It's not metal, it's not sharp, so it will protect the floor. So that was a good idea also besides kind of being a bumper. You know so let me get on this real quick all right I'm a little over 200 pounds so this will handle me easy and you know you can use this as a handle obviously you've got a couple of places I think you'll start off here get on this and I just feel stable you know I don't I'm not worried again I got three inches with the feet on each side I can get up here on these trees and maybe do some trimming. I can actually cheat and dunk the ball. But uh, really, really nice piece, I gotta tell you. Well, I definitely recommend it. You know, it's made well. Gorilla just does some really good work with their ladders and of course this work platform. I mean, 375 pound capacity. This weighs 27 pounds. It folds up really nice. Again, 20 inches all the way to 30 inches. Links will be in the video description. I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, do me a favor. 
Give us a thumbs up. I hope we earned it, by the way. And I will put my social media right up top. If you want to follow us on social media, I'll put our Tesla channel in the upper right-hand corner. Look us up on YouTube at my Tesla Journey one and subscribe. We'll have more videos coming out. And by the way, I'll have a video right here on the right-hand side if you want to check it out. And if you want to subscribe to our channel here at Tech Made Easy, and I sure hope you do, go ahead and click this round Tech Made Easy logo. You'll be able to subscribe and join the family. Guys, thanks so much and have a great day.